what we do right now over here at K1's Radio for this particular segment, this is something that's uh, built to help <clears throat> connect artists with their fan base, right? And our fan base. So let's get it. All right. So this time around on our project premiere, um, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really excited for our audience to check out this song. Sometimes we get project premieres, and well, not sometimes. Every project premiere we've had has been a good project, but this one, I think you guys are really gonna like it. All right, I really think you guys are gonna dig it. <clears throat> we're uh, we're on the we're on the line right now with soap uh, with 7 a.m. I'm gonna go ahead and bring him on, and introduce him to the broadcast real quick. Seven, seven a.m. What's up, man? You live on the air. What's good, bro? Hey, what's up, man? What's going on? Welcome to the broadcast. Welcome to K100 Radio, man. I'm glad to have you. Um, this is the project premiere review. Glad, glad to be here. Man. <clears throat> yeah, this this is the project premiere review that I really think that the people who don't know who you are, or have never heard your music, are really going to enjoy. Shout out to everybody checking us out right now on Facebook Live. Everybody checking us out right now, Instagram Live. Again, welcome to the broadcast. This is K100 Radio, the project premiere review of Sober by 7 a.m. <laughs> And it's a good project, y'all. I'm telling you, y'all are in for a treat. If you've never heard this artist before, I'm going to let him introduce himself to you real quick. And then we're going to go ahead and get right to things because this is all about the music. This project premiere review, these particular segments that we do with K1's Radio, it's all about the music. It's all about connecting you, the listener, his fans, with the artist and letting you get really, really behind the scenes, in-depth take on what it was like to create this, this song, that song. Any anything, the whole creative process, what the artist was thinking about. But first and foremost, let me pump my brakes. Let me give the floor to 7 a.m. What's going on, man? Formally introduce yourself to the people real quick. Go ahead. Hey, what's up, man? Um, 7 a.m., man. Atlanta born and raised. Um, I've been doing this for a while, man. I'm still young. Um, I, I love what I do, man. I'm just trying to share it with the world. You know what I'm so, put my all into this project, man, and I'm, I'm really happy you know, with the response and everything. I mean, I just... Hope that we can get it out to more people and get them to dig it like you, man. Well, yeah, I think that um, I think you're on your way. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <clears throat> there's a couple of things, of course, that we're gonna we're gonna wanna talk about, and we'll we'll break down each one track by track. But first of all, why the name Sober? Tell us why. Tell us what's up with that. Tell us what's up with the whole theme and why you named the album Sober before we even get into it and break down each one of the tracks. Why that? Uh, all right. Um, so uh, Sober. Um, First of all, the, the album itself is pretty much the story of uh, my life, kind of written through, you know, the viewpoint of relationships in the past, like, four years, you know, like, through college and, you know, the struggles I was facing there, you know, trying to put down the party lifestyle, you know, actually focus and get on track and decide, you know, to take this music serious. You know, so it's, it's pretty much just finding myself, man, and um, just becoming physically sober, you know, quitting the party life, man, and spiritually sober. So, so, so... so... Of course, I gotta ask: Have you actually really quit the sober life? Like, I mean, I mean, I mean the, uh, the party life. I mean, have you actually? I mean, literally, no. I'm serious. Have you quit it? Like, are you done? Like, like you done partying? Is that it? As of, as of right now, yeah, yeah. As of right now, yeah, man. I had to in order to make this. You know what I'm saying? So I, I put a lot of hours, a lot of work into doing it. So you know, I kind of disappeared for a year. Right. Well, to get that done. So. Um, you know that's that, and that's weird because right now a lot of the music that's hot is all about everybody who's on lean, who's on pills. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's that's what's that's kind of what's moving. And so right now you're basically telling the audience before we even get into this, this whole album is about cutting all that out and focusing only on the music. So uh, this is going to be interesting. I can tell you that right now. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I, I I think that's what I think this is what makes the album sound different. And you're a musician. You know what I'm saying? You're you're a, an artist, artist. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Tell us about that. Tell us about the instruments that you play and you know your uh your hand in that with the production of the project um, well um, i co-produced a lot of the records on there um especially with our arrangements kind of my specialty um i play the guitar as of right now but um you know i grew up in a church man so i kind of dabbled in a, a few instruments you know i started with the keys um drums and you know the string is pretty much just called my name um, that's kind of what I focus on now, but I still, you know, I kind of dabble in all of them, you know, when I get my hands on it, as far as production. Right, right. Um, I, 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 I love, I love the guitar, man. Like the guitar is the one instrument that I can't play that I wish I could. You know what I'm saying? That's, I wish it's, I, it's I wish tough, I could. Man. You know, I wish I could, man. You know, I, I don't know. I just like, I just, I, I, I've always loved it. Like I've actually, you know, in the past, you know, paid, you know, a, a few guitars to come in and just play because sometimes you just can't. Trying to replicate it on a keyboard or something like that, it just never really sounds authentic, like a real 
you know, guitar player coming there playing that bass, slapping those strings or a lead or whatever, man, or even acoustic. You know what I mean? It just doesn't sound the same yeah, even when you play it out. You know what I mean? So, uh, big up to you for being on exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Big up to you for picking up that exactly. thing and take it. That takes dedication because I actually tried to learn it. We're well, gonna be able to do it. Nope. <laughs> Too impatient. It's, so it's yeah. tough, man. <laughs> it's a lot of time. You got to put a lot of time into that. Man. Absolutely, absolutely, man. So let's go ahead and get into it, man. We're gonna uh, again. This is a project premiere review uh, over here at K100 Radio. This is where we break down a track by track assessment of an entire project by an artist. Uh, if you want information about how to do this with your, with your own project, of course, you can go to k1radio.com. Make sure you go to the ads and promo page, and you can check out how you can have one of these yourself. All right? But let's go ahead and jump into the music, because that's why we are here. That's the whole point of this particular segment. It's all about this artist, his music, this project, Sober. All right, so let's jump into it. All right, so uh, let me see. And I got them all loaded up here. We're going to do them. I like to do them in the order that... um. They come in, basically. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I think I got them uh, lined up the way that they actually show up in the uh, on the CD. I like to do it like that so people can get a real feel of what it's like to actually listen to the album. You know, like they were sitting there, like they popped the CD in or whatever. So we're going to go from the very beginning, track one, which, let me see. I got this right. The interlude, right? Yeah, OD. OD. So tell us about this. Inspiration behind it. Why'd you do it? All that good stuff. Um, OD um, itself is uh, it's OD, of course. OD stands for overdose, mm -hmm. but um, not in the sense of uh, of uh, you know overdosing on drugs, but more so overdosing on love. Kind of just describing how it is stronger than the drugs itself. Love is stronger than the drugs. It was just... All right, I like it. Uh -huh. All right, uh, let's 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 check this first one out, man. This is uh this is the interlude. This is the interlude. Right here. Check it out, man. And you guys, uh, make sure if you're liking this, make sure you tweet out tweet out, or share this Facebook post or tell somebody about uh, on Instagram Live about this project. You know, if you really like this music, uh, our main thing here, of course, besides having this conversation with the artist, is also to get you guys to support the artist. I mean, even if you uh, go to Spotify and stream it, which is available, or whatever your taste is, t title, or whatever it is, you know, the music is everywhere. This project is out. These project premiere reviews that we do. Uh, these things are, no, are normally readily available to, for, to support financially, streaming, however you want to do it. So the main thing is if you're really rocking with this and you're really liking it, it's something that you never heard before and you're digging the artists, uh, we want to make sure that you let them know on social media, tell somebody about them, and go ahead and check out their project, man, and, and financially support uh, some of this great music by up-and-coming artists, all right? So let's jump into it, man. This is the first, this is the interlude to Sober by 7 a.m. This ain't what you wanted I know what you wanted And this ain't what you wanted You wanted fancy things You wanted everything That you had ever seen That reminded you of your dreams Nah, this ain't what you wanted Nah, this ain't what you wanted Can y'all tell y'all in for a treat already with just that interlude right there? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. 
Um, I'm pretty sure that you guys understand what you guys are going to be listening to right about now. Why you should just pause where you're at right now and keep rocking with us for this, um, for this Project Premiere cast. That shit is dope, bro. Like, I'm ready, I'm ready for everybody to get all the way into the album with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love, uh, I love when you make great music, you know what I'm saying, and no one's ever heard it, especially on an independent level. And, um, you know, I hear it and I'm like, man, this shit is, this shit is great. This shit is better than a whole bunch of shit. With a whole bunch of people, you know what I'm saying, that's got quote unquote deals or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So uh that's a great recommend. I like I yeah, like man. the production on that, you know what I'm saying? And uh when I first heard it, I was like, Okay, <clears throat> we're in some, we're in for something different here for this whole project. So it made me wanna and I'll be honest with you, I didn't go through all of them. I just listened to a couple of them. I'm like, nah, the rest of them, I'm gonna chill and wait till I get on the uh on the review, you know what I'm saying, and kick it, you know what I'm saying, and really chop it up with it. Someone asked me, uh, Am I about to, somebody I was the way I was looking when I was jamming, somebody was asked me on Instagram live, Am I about to cry? <laughs> Because the look I have on my face, they're looking at me. I'm on Instagram Live. Shout out to my Instagram Live people. Shout out to my Facebook Live people. Right now, you're checking out the project premiere of Sober by 7 a.m. It's a track by track breakdown of a project uh, by the uh, artist that we do over here at K100 Radio. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and go to the next one. All right. Uh, that was the interlude. Let me see what's next. Priceless. Tell us about Priceless, bro. Um, all right. So, following up, um, OD Priceless was, uh, you know, I was kind of starting this story with a loss. You know, kind of speaking on uh, one of my exes, you know, um, and this is kind of just like reminiscing on, you know, when I had her, you know, trying to fix it, you know, just going through that whole you know, swinging type of relationship back and forth. So, you know, her moving on and you still chasing. Her moving on and you still chasing. So you admit you chased it, though. You know, it's all, it's all right. It's cool. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yeah. No. <laughs> I like chasing, man. That's, you, are you, that's oh, you like chasing? Is, man. That's the thrill. All right, okay. It's the thrill of the hunt, yeah. though. It's the thrill of the hunt, I guess, huh? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Man. You like Jason. All right, that's cool. I get it. All right, <laughs> let's jump into it. This is track two on the album, Sober, uh, by 7 a.m. This is called Priceless. You know what I'm saying? Don't save them, though. Some of them don't want to be saved. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> let's get Shout it. Shout out the code. <laughs> K1's radio. <laughs> You seem so uninterested Why do you never mention it when I ask what's on your mind? Girl, I'm just trying to find out That piece of you that's been missing The girl I met back in the city That was bad as hell but still silly Sported a short dress even though it was chilly Wish I could meet her again But see, love don't come around me That I've been looking high and low, and just when I think I'm close and start to let go, man, she's already took and I don't get it. No. Is it me or is it us? Am I dumb or is this love? Do you even give a fuck, girl? I'm tired all the time. Cause all I do is work, so I ain't gotta think about it. Convince myself I can be without it. Cause love don't come around me that often. But I gotta count you in my love Keep telling myself that a nigga got options But myself keep telling me nigga keep calling Cause you're something hard to find Blazing non stop hip hop and RB. What's up? K100 Radio 24 7. All right, salute to everybody checking us out. What's up to my Instagram live crew, my Facebook live crew? Right now, we're on a project premiere review with 7 a.m. The name of this project is called Sober. 
And right now, two tracks in, I'm pretty sure you guys are thoroughly impressed, right? I see a couple of likes and uh, hearts and stuff going on over there on my little uh, Facebook Live over there, uh, 7 a.m., bro. They already check it out. What's going to say? They already rocking with you. I'm telling you, man. It's hard to get people on my audience to like anything. These people are prone to just be like, fuck that. That shit is whack. But nah, they're showing you some love already. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Got a tough crowd, man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Trust me. We're notorious for it. You know what I'm saying? You love us or hate us, but it's always the truth over here at K1's radio. And uh, so far, man, I got to tell you, man, just you've got, a, uh, you've, got, you've got your own lane. To be honest with you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, so far, I'm a, once we get more rolling into it and everybody hears the rest of these tracks, I'm like, I don't know who the competition is out here right now. You know what I'm saying? Your voice reminds me of a, of a couple. Your voice itself reminds me of, of a couple of people, but not right there. Then the fact that you're actually also a musician on top of that and you're playing the guitar and all that other kind of stuff and you produce it as well, uh, definitely going to set you uh, apart from everybody. Uh, definitely setting yourself up to win. Uh, shout out to the homie, man. ATL Native. I know you're going for the Falcons, right? I'm just assuming that. This yeah, week. man. Okay. Of course, man. Right. I, yeah. I didn't know if you were one of these I'm kind of torn, though. I'm a Patriots fan. Well, know, no! So, ah! yeah, I got to go. For, ah! <laughs> I got to go for the Falcons, man. It's only right. It's only right. So, I'm just going to... I'm like the Patriots. I wish I, wouldn't, I wish I wouldn't ask you that, bro. I just wish I wouldn't ask you that. I had, so, I had such high hopes for you, man. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, man, at least I'm picking them. I'm choosing them over, you know. Choosing over the Patriots, I'm, we, I'm just gonna let that slide. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let that whole, I'm gonna hear that whole transaction act like I didn't hear it. It's gonna go right over yeah. my head. Let's get into the next I mean, track. We get dogs. I would have kept that to myself at least. Well, no, you know what though? If you've already been been rooting I'm for honest. him for like years or whatever, then it'd be real flaw you to change all of a sudden. That's true, but exactly. I just don't understand how you ended up. Just tell me real quick. Well, this is a, this is about you. This is about getting to know you. How in the fuck did you even end up being a Patriots fan, bro? From Atlanta. How did that even happen? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, man, I, I was dating a chick, man. <laughs> ah, shit. There we and go. She was, she was, oh. she was a Patriots fan, so I was like forced to watch, you know, like Patriots uh, games. Man. I was like, hey, this team's actually pretty fucking kick ass. Uh, so. <laughs> there y'all go, man. Don't save them, bro. It's okay. Just don't save them. You ain't got to conform to us. See what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Sometimes they get you in more trouble than it's worth, man. They just make you just change yourself sometimes. They just make you change yourself. Let's jump into the next track. 7 a.m. ATL born and raised, somehow a Patriots fan, but rooting for the Falcons. Anyway, he's got great fucking music, though. So, <laughs> we'll give him that much. All right. Uh, track number three. This is called Release. Tell us about Release. All right, so release is uh, we're still in the same relationship here. Um, this is just switching the the attitude, you know, towards her. You know, at this point, I'm pleading. You know, what I'm saying, I'm saying, yeah, I know I fucked up, but you know, let's still try. So, did you know, she it's drive like the final? <laughs> so, it sounds like seven. It sounds uh, yeah. like this was inspired by somebody that drove you to drugs, <laughs> and now you try to just get yourself back together because she fucked you up that bad. So <laughs> that's what it sounds like. Hey man, this 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 album's about like. Three, four of them, man. So this is, <laughs> this, is, this is a lot of them. All right, man. All right. Uh, so, okay. Release. Let's check this one out, homie. Uh, track number three off the uh, Project Sober right here by 7 a.m. This is live. k one Radio. You're now tuned into our Project uh, project premiere review of Sober by 7 a.m. This is a track-by-track -track breakdown of the project that an artist released. And we get an in-depth one-on-one uh, -on -one conversation with him. You can also call in and participate in the conversation if you want to talk to Seven, if you're a supporter and you want to give him a shout-out live on the air. The number's 347-934-0966. If you're just listening to k one Radio and you're just digging the fucking music, by all means, call in. Let them know. If you're on Facebook Live, you can see the number scrolling down the screen. It's the same number, 347-934-0966. Call in and give the guy some support, man, because he's making some stellar music. And if you really feel that bad about it, uh, call and let him know. Live on the air. All right? Track number three, release. <laughs> K1 Radio, 7 a.m. Sober. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, a time is past, I know. No need to repeat, girl, I know. You say to me, girl, for sure. But I think you can't let me go. But I'll wait before you come in. I seen this shit coming So mad you started coming Yeah, yeah, cause this was more than nothing Girl, I fucked up, I'm sorry But I know you need somebody Girl, I know you need somebody 
Station in the game. Let's go. K100 Radio, Atlanta. And we're back, K100 Radio. I'm your host, Blizzard. Thanks for tuning in to the show. This is our project premiere review with uh, 7 a.m. Name of this uh, project is called Sober. That was track three. All right, that was released. Another dope cut off the album, man. Uh, someone on Instagram said, uh, You can smash it, this one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, yeah. <laughs> Uh, shout out to my Instagram live crew checking in. What's going on, man? Everybody over there checking us out. I appreciate everybody over here on Facebook live. I appreciate everybody checking in, rocking with us. George, I see Venus checking in. Uh, Sia Kane checking in. Tony Davis was checking in. Let me know. Uh, chime in. If you want to hit, uh, hit us up on the phone lines and holler at the artists and give them a shout out, of course, you know the phone line is open. 347-934-0966. Remember to support the artists. This, this album is out. It's available uh, pretty much on all digital outlets from what I saw. Uh, you can make sure we'll make sure you get the uh, contact information to also get the web, go to the website and connect with the artists on social media. We're going to do all that. We're just not getting this thing started. That was only track three. We got a lot more. Um, <clears throat> that particular song, I like that one, uh, Seven. I like the vibe on that. I like the um, that sort of kind of screwed down low pitch uh, background that you had going on on that one right there in the back, you know, up under the mix, uh, you know, subliminally just talking to you like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That one was dope, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I think that was some good engineering on that one, you know what I'm saying? Just the way y'all mixed it up, you know what I'm saying? They had that kind of floating in the background, you know what I'm saying? I thought that was dope, too. But, uh, again, overall, another dope track off the album, bro. Appreciate it, man. All right. Thanks a lot. For sure. Uh, let's see. Where we're at now? Track four? All right. We're at 11-11. 11-11. Uh, Tell us about 11-11, bro. What's going on here? Um... Well, you know what 11 11 is, right? The time, like the the wishful hour, you know, so to say, so to speak. Okay. Kind of that time of the night where, you know, you're supposed to make a wish. All right. So at least that's what I was told. I'm I've been doing this since I was a kid. 
Okay. But um, <clears throat> at this point, the relationship, you know, it's over. Um, <laughs> my career started. <laughs> my career started, you know, kind of like starting to move a bit. So I'm into the industry a bit more. You know, um, so we're not around. I don't see her no more. You know, I'm not in school. So it's pretty much just uh, just wish, just talking about me wishing that maybe things could have been different. All right, eleven, eleven. Wish for thinking. Good, good. You know what? Good creative names. I like, I like the names. You know, what I'm saying sometimes, man. You know, people be naming stuff, and it's like you already know exactly what this song is going to be about before you even listen to it. You know, what I'm saying sometimes, you know, people just people don't get creative with the title anymore. I mean, you could talk about. You can talk about twerking, but do you got to literally name it twerk for the one million time? Like, Jesus, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, you know, I mean, you know, yeah. this is, you know, this is, uh, let me ask you this. What genre do you consider yourself? R.B., soul, what's your genre? Just curious what you, um, your answer. I think it would be like a fusion. I think it would be a fusion of uh, genres, you know. R&B, soul, you know, there's a little alternative in there. It's got hip-hop influences. So, I don't know, man. It's, it's, it's just a fusion of it all, so. Right, right, right. All right, okay. it is yeah. it is a good mixture. You, I, I hear you got a little rough, um, a little rough side as far as just lyrically what you're saying, kind of Bryson Tillerish. I don't want to say I'm not comparing you to him, you know what I'm saying, but just you know uh, Bryson Tillerish, Chris Brownish, where you kind of really just saying like you know, you know sometimes with R and B back in the day they would make they they would sing in a way that no one really talks that way though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whereas yeah. now the newer generation of artists, kind of like yourself, I'm hearing you, you kind of say it just like you really would say it to your homeboys. Like, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the nigga ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying, do all that, man. You know what I mean? But you singing it, and it's like, really, that's a conversation that you really would have with someone, really, the way you would speak. That's the one thing I actually like about the newer generation. You know what I'm saying? The songs are, are more believable, even if people say they're a little bit too crude for R&B, for the genre. Uh, we could have that discussion, and we'll talk about that maybe uh, in a second here, because i like to pick your brain on how you feel about that. But let's get back into the music, all right? This okay. is track number four, The Wishful Hour, 1111. This is the project premiere review of Sober by 7 a.m. on K100 Radio. <laughs> Tell us what you think. Feel free to call in, chime in on social media. Yeah. <laughs> When we in the moment, it never ever seems like it's done I think that it's fun You know that it is And you know I'm the one But you got your emotion And I got my thoughts You just want it to fail, girl Look at what it costs Where are we now, now, now I'm out of town, town, town What I still hit you from this if No, no, no Am I wrong for wishful thinking? They say it's not the truth it's a simple drink, yeah, what I do to you To keep you so in sync with all of your anger Probably wanna last it this long if I want to single But here we are Now it's starting to feel like a news It's like you forgot everything I told you I guess it's a whatever thing Even though I told you everything I swear we're just so new, no, 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 no I guess it's wishful thinking 11, 11, 11, 11, oh God I should change up the potion cause I've been in my emotions, girl, this drink of my mind Got me wasting time, time. I should hit your line, line. I should hit your line, line But you know like I know, time ain't on our side And you know why I go, cause you always on my mind so heavy, heavy, girl, I'm drinking heavy Feeling pretty ready to finally take it steady But you know, like, I know that it ain't in me The way I'm acting, I should win in me I should win, I should win I'ma put your name on it I should put it, I should put it You should put a frame on it Then add your picture, then take it with you Cause when I hit you, I'ma need you to get it but Just in case, I leave it at your place And I hope to God that you will get it And by it, I mean all of it but what we had, it just follows me Round the world and back again Girl, it's a part of me I know I'm coming on too strong So pardon me, girl Honestly, I just caught to see, but Now it's starting to feel like a news It's like you forgot everything I told you 
you I guess it's a whatever thing Even though I told you everything I swear we're just so no, 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 no I think we're all But I guess it's wishful thinking 11, 11, 11, 11 I guess it's wishful thinking 11, 11, 11, 11 Oh God 11, 11, 11, 11 I should change up the potion cause I've been in my emotions, girl, this drink of my mind Got me wasting time, time I should hit your line, I should hit your line Hold up, She keep opening the door What are you here for? What I do to you I swear it was the truth It's your boy Wiz Khalifa, man, and right now you're checking out K100 Radio. You feel me? You feel me? And we're back, K100 Radio. This is our project premiere review of Sober by 7 a.m. The uh, uh, track by track breakdown of this uh, artist's uh, entire project. That's something that we do over here at K1 Radio. If you want information about how to get this done for yourself, visit our website, k1radio.com, and go to the ads and promo page. Uh, we've got seven right right back on the line, man. Again, bro, I like it. Um, Appreciate it, man. That one right there. What's just, I, I, I actually didn't, I don't know actually what it is, which one of the songs is your single, uh, but that could easily be it to me personally because it's just so ready for radio right there. It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a really great, yeah. great great record. It's a, it's catchy. Uh, a couple of people said chimed in over here. Uh, Luminati says she likes this track. You know what I'm saying? Uh, someone said it sounds like it sounds like somebody else. Uh, I don't think it does. I don't I don't necessarily agree that it doesn't sound like that. It sounds like somebody else. Uh, it has. You still have your own lane for me to me personally on that record. Of course, again, that one is the closest one to me personally. That sounds like a radio record that you could just throw one right behind. A couple of people that's out right now with no problems, you know what I'm saying? Uh, with a really smooth transition, yeah. you know what I mean? But I mean, so I mean, so far all the songs have been dope. But that right there is just like, yeah, I could just hear that in the car easily, just riding down, you know, pushing down the highway, uh, you know, uh, real, real, real easy. You know what I'm saying? Top down, you know what I'm saying? You know. Yeah, and then of course, what you're talking about, wish for thinking. And I like the uh, the title and everything about that joint, man. That was a really, uh, really dope track. The production on that. It's crazy. Who did that? Was it you and somebody else, or just you? Who produced it? Nah, that's uh, actually one of the uh, main producers on there. Uh, his name's Guy Series. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, he's, based, he's from the UK, man. So uh, him and uh, my other homie from the UK, Neil, they produce. They help produce a lot of it. So, All right. so um, that was mostly him. That's why I had. That's why I had that sound to it. You know, kind of yeah. bit of a crossover feel. Yeah, those guys are dope. They they definitely blessing you with some heat on the production. Big ups to those guys. Yeah, yeah. Big ups to those guys for real, for real. Uh, Jazzly Jazzly yeah, says one of the favorites, one one of her favorites on the album. So she's checking in over here on Instagram Live. All right. Uh, shout out to her for watching. I mean, uh, any guy, anybody, uh, uh, Alexis Anderson on Facebook Live says she likes it too. So if you're watching, make sure you guys give the feedback. Of course, again, you can always call in. If you want to uh, holler at 7 Live on the air, the number is 347-934-0966. Uh, if you're on Facebook Live, you can see it scrolling across the screen. i said say it again for the people on Instagram Live, 347-934-0966. That's the number to go ahead and call in if you want to uh, give a shout-out live on the air to 7 a.m. about this project. If you really love it and you're really rocking with them, hit the phone lines up and tell them yourself, 347-934-0966. All right, track number five. This one is called Chances. Tell us about this one, homie. All right, so yeah, so we're back in the, uh, we're still in the, you know, like, she's gone, you know, I'm getting over it at this point, you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> so, you know, after the relationship's done, you start to move on and all that stuff, man, you kind of start to resent it a little bit. So, um, yeah, this is just kind of like changing my perspective from, you know, like, thinking it's my loss and looking at it as her loss. All right. 
Oh, looking at it as her loss now. You kind of feeling yourself like, man, yeah. man, fuck that motherfucker, yeah. man. It's no, me. No, I'm me. No, I'm 7 a.m. No. Motherfucker. <laughs> Shit. Everybody want me, right? <laughs> of course. Yeah, all right. <laughs> we get it. Everybody's been there. You know what I'm saying, man? Fuck that shit, man. Shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out here. This is when you start going out to the club, maybe re- having a relapse, maybe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The party in a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know, hit the strip club a couple times. Maybe a jump check. Yeah, you know. You know. Uh, Melia Ra- Radio. Melia Radio is tuning in on uh, Instagram Live. Uh, they say the last one was the best one so far. He's been listening since track one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Carolina George in the building. Melia Radio. He says he really liked 11 11. He was liking the other ones. He was commenting on the other ones, but he said he really liked Eleven Eleven. Uh, again, I still say that that one is, is that that one is just like just like radio ready. Like here, what program director in their right mind is not rocking with that? Like, of course you're gonna hear that on K One's radio after today. Obviously, you know what I'm saying. But right. life is about chances. All right, project premiere review, seven a.m. Sober, track number five. Let's get it. <laughs> screens you know what's real behind the scenes you lost my
Jaheen. This is R. Kelly. Playing all your favorite artists. We can play a little Jaheen. Tamar Braxton. Tyrese. This is Jill Scott. This is K100 Radio. My station for R&B. And we're back. K100 Radio. I'm your host, Blizzard. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in to the show. We're live right now. This is our project premiere review of Sober by 7 a.m. Uh, up and coming artist out of Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, he's dropping a new, he's got a new project out. It's called Sober. This is what you're listening to. And this is a track by track breakdown of the project. We we play his record. Uh, we get some, uh, some, some in depth intake on it from the artist. Uh, if you want information about how you can be a part of this or how you can do one of these, visit our website, k1radio.com. Link is in our bio on Instagram Live and go to the ads and promo page. Um, <laughs> Melia Radio says, Oh, he hit a high note. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, seven. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he's over there checking you out. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Uh, DJ Opens checking in over on Facebook Live. He says that's fire. Shout out to DJ Opens checking in on Facebook Live. Uh, man, uh, so far, man, you know, you've been getting really uh, uh, pretty much all positive feedback uh, on, on on the social media. Uh, again, the number is 347-934-0966. Hit the phone lines up, man. Uh, so, you know, I like that one, too. That one was definitely more mellow. You know what I'm saying? I have to pull out a cigarello for that one. You know what I'm saying? To kick back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Crack open the bottle. I might even, oh, yeah. I might even crack. I might even sip some brown on that one with the blunt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that one make me kind of want to sip brown a little bit. I don't know why. I just feel like I should have a Hennessy glass in my hand and a blunt and a bad <laughs> and, a, and, a, and, a, and a bad motherfucker right. right over there on the couch with me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? On top of that, <laughs> Netflix. That's that's you know what that is. That's good Netflix and chill music. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's good Netflix yeah. and chill music. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I rock with it. All right, <laughs> seven. All right, uh, let's jump into track six. Uh, the Illuminati says, "Hey, Mister Smooth over there, <laughs> where's the throw panties button?" Uh, let me see. I can't read all that because I got that thing sitting over there. She's she's Illuminati. Shout out to Illuminati checking in. She's over here riding with you, bro. Listening to all the tracks. She's giving you some good Why feedback. Shout out to Illuminati over here on Instagram Live. Thank she's you. been she's been over here kicking it for a while. Much love. Music. Yeah. All right, uh, let me see. Thank you. Man. All right, track number seven. We're getting ready to jump into right now. Tell me, tell me, um, real quick. You know, uh, something about you. This is about the music, but it's also about you. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's talk about you a little bit. Besides the fact that your taste in football is questionable, um, <laughs> at best. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 you 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 the person. You know what I'm saying? 7 a.m. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you're you obviously a talented artist. You know what I'm saying? But what is it that you like to do besides music when you're on your downtime? Um, yeah, I'm a gym rat. So, you know, I'm always uh, I'm always in the gym working out. You know, I'm a skateboard. Um, uh, I used to fight. Um, I see. Uh, I like to paint. I do photography. Um, and I cook. I, I go out a lot. Man, I, just, I got a pretty busy life, man. <laughs> yeah, so you say, hold on. So, um, uh, when I'm not... Well, you said you fight. What do you, what do you mean you fight? What do you mean? Um, well, I used to train, um, train in MMA for a while. Um, just briefly after high school, you know. So um, I still train like a, still training in the gym like I'm still fighting, but I don't, I don't like I never took it professionally, man. So. Oh really? Didn't didn't actually. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't want to, man. I got like my face. So, so. <laughs> but see. See this, this, this is this. You know, you, 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 you guys are deceptive. These, these R and B guys that be in the gym and stuff, and then everybody be thinking they're uh, a soft, pretty boy or something. And then you know, what I'm saying you run up there, and then it, 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 it turns out all bad. You end up on shade room on on the, on the shade room IG <laughs> or media takeout or some shit because you know what I'm saying. You know, you, you, you didn't come correct. You know what I'm saying? Cats be in the gym right here. You know what I'm saying? And I'm actually, I'm actually a, 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 a I'm actually a, a, a UFC. Uh, fan, I actually watch the sport. I don't pay for the fights per se. You know, what I'm saying I don't necessarily pay for them, but I like to watch them. I like to watch the fights. Uh, it's actually uh, much more enjoyable to boxing than boxing to me these days. So I watch them all. You know, what I'm saying yeah. uh, it, any chance I get. You know, what I'm saying online, YouTube. I'm, I'm kind of busy to myself, so I don't have time to always watch them when they're live. But I always try to catch them. Uh, it's a great sport. It's brutal. And listening to this project, I'm kind of shocked about that. That's probably something somebody listening right now probably was like, "He what?" You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, let's just you know, <laughs> listening to the music is totally not. You know what I'm saying? It's not. It's not fight music. You know what I'm saying? But you know, uh, that's no, what's up. Not at all. That's what's up, man. That's cool. You know what I mean? I I, I think that's dope. You know, so keep yourself fit. You know what I'm saying? Once you go, once you take off, because I'm pretty sure you are based on this music. You know what I'm saying? You go. You know what I'm saying? You can, you can go take your shirt off and throw it in the crowd and do all that good stuff. And you know what I'm saying? Get the. You know what I'm saying? 
have him backstage waiting and shit. <laughs> Where's my other sound effect? I should have loaded them up. I got I got to load up my other sound effect for you. I see I see right now. You need the uh you need the other sound effect I normally have on deck. I'm gonna load that one up for the rest of this damn segment. Uh, right now, <laughs> tell us about track six. Right now, go ahead. All right, so um, you know, moved on. You know, chances was you know the end of that. So um, now you know I got another shorty. You know, we um trying to do things. I was actually talking about. Uh, I used to date another artist. That was actually an interesting. Uh, that was an interesting relationship. So this is pretty much talking about you know the start of that one. Okay. And uh, kind of just you know. Moving on to the next, pretty much. All right, but dating another artist, I don't know about it, bro. Yeah, I, you know, I've yeah, never done I know, it. Man. I've never, I've never really, I've never. I'm not saying I never smashed another artist. I'm saying I've never dated another artist. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a big difference. Yeah, I don't even know yeah. if that. I don't even know how that works. It probably would be dope in in a lot of aspects. Like, really, y'all could both be in the studio doing what y'all both love to do and I could get why that would be appeasing but honestly my studio life my, my music is kind of like my escape from my life so I don't even know if I would want that person around me that much because that's how much you know what I'm saying from a creative aspect I don't know it's kind of conflicting you know what I'm saying that's probably why it never really works out you know what I'm saying I don't yeah, know yeah it's, it's usually like a it becomes a competition at a point too so, you know. <laughs> yeah um, yeah <laughs> and it's, it's, it gets messy man but it, I thought it'd be cool I get but, it. You know, like the studio thing. That's the that's that's the fun part. But you know, like there's just a lot of mess that comes with it. Huh. All right, all right. Uh, track number six right now. This is off the album "Sober" by Seven AM. Make sure you guys go get it. Go and support this artist. This is some really great music. Everybody that's been listening so far has really been vibing with it, man. Again, you know, Eleven Eleven is still the the jam, but I'm liking everything. You feel me? You know what I mean? But let's check this one out. This is right now. K100 right. Radio. <laughs> Lately I've been so into myself I almost forgot about you And I'm surprised that you're still around And let me explain Girl, I still think about you That right now, I feel like it's just more than me that you want it Go right now, it seems like when it's time, girl, you want it When it's time for the lights and the cameras, girl, you want it And I love the way that you own it When it's time for the lights and the cameras
this is all that we need And we're back, K100 Radio. I'm your host, Blizzard. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in to the show right now. This is our live project premiere review of Sober by 7 a.m., man, and he's killing it right now. He's killing it. This album is great, bro. Big ups to you, man. Uh, we got people asking where can they buy it over here on Instagram Live. Someone answered for them. iTunes, Amazon, Tidal, Fire. Get all that shit. Go buy it. You know what I'm saying? Make sure if you like it like that, go and support the artist, man. Make sure you do that. You know what I mean? Shout out to my homie Jay Harden checking in over here. He's uh, giving some props, too. He said he's a pro. He's rocking with it. Definitely he's got a really dope project right here, man. Uh, salute to you. And uh, that last song, I like that right there. That was probably, that may be my second favorite one. I'm still with 11-11 for the yeah, first That's one of my personal sure. favorites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now is, uh, shit. I don't know. I don't know as far as, like, releasing a single. <laughs> what, is, what? What is the single? What, which, which one was the single on the on the project? Um, we're kind of, we kind of just dropped it, you know, let the people decide. So, um, we're kind of just, uh, playing by ear right now. Um, you're actually probably about to get to the, the single pretty soon. Well, the one that might be the single is called Hello Love. You got better uh, shit? Okay. Like was number... Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I'm listening to this so far, bro. This is one of those albums I, I, I could definitely tell, like picking a single, picking a single is always crucial, but I can see how just guy just sitting in that war room with you in your camp, like, bro. You got to get it right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's, you know what I'm saying? Picking the right one. You know what I'm saying? But you got bangers on this project, bro. I haven't heard of song. I mean, we've done a couple of project uh, project premiere reviews. And I'll be honest with you. There's always, you know, right about before I get to track seven, there's probably at least one song that I just kind of generally don't like. But so far, I've actually liked every song on this project. Now, of course, I told you there's ones I really like. But so far, I haven't heard a song that I just yeah. literally don't like. Like, this is like, you could pop this joint in and just chunk up the deuces and you know what i'm saying uh go in there and pop in the yeah, netflix you know what i'm saying oh, now oh. my bad that was the wrong one Kill. that was the wrong one i didn't mean to hit that button that was the one right there this is how the night can end fucking with goddamn 7 a.m that's it this is how your nights end right there that's it that's how you got them you got you got the netflix and chill music bro you know what i'm saying it's dope dope record all right let's jump into the next one that was my sound effect I was looking for earlier. <laughs> I had to go find it. All right, uh, track seven. I thought it was a chick Mona. <laughs> track seven, swaying. Luminati says, uh, Luminati says, make them all singles. She's really digging your project, bro. She's an, and she's an artist herself, and she's just sitting over here riding out with you. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's good Wait, when you I can get artists. Her, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good when you can get other artists because artists are normally selfish and they be like, I ain't playing my shit. Fuck that. I'm out. You know what I'm saying? You know, so. <laughs> That's generally the attitude. You know, like that sometimes. Yeah, you know, you know how motherfuckers do, man. You know how it is. Yeah, it is what it is. All right, uh, Swaying, tell us about this from Track 7. What's going on? Um, So this is um, this is actually, like I said, we're moving into some of the bigger records on the on the project now. So, you know, um, it kind of hit a little harder. It's got a lot more guitar in it. Um, This one specifically is, uh, this is more of a personal joint about me. You know what I'm saying? And this is like, more so talking about the, you know, leaving the party like, you know, actually trying to figure out what I want to do, you know, um, just getting my head on straight. So I'm swinging back and forth between, you know, love, and some music and school, all that shit. So this one, yeah, this one's a lot more personal than specifically being about somebody. All right. This one is about you. This is about his inner self. Sober. All right. Let's get it, man. Uh, track number seven off the uh, LP, Sober. Make sure you go and get it available. iTunes, title, right? iTunes, title, where else? Where else, bro? Uh, Spotify, Amazon. Um, let's see, we got iTunes, Apple Music, your title. So, yeah, pretty much anywhere, man. You can just Google it. It'll pop up. All right. Make sure you go somewhere. To support, 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 support. I, I love the likes. I love it all. Support, though. Go over there and hit that stream. At least the least you can do is stream if you're already paying for Spotify. Add it to a playlist. All that good stuff. All right. Track number seven. Word. 
7 a.m. by 7 a.m., man. Uh, I'm showing my age for real on that. When I said that, didn't I? Yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, shout out to everybody checking me out on Instagram Live. I see APB, uh, APB Branding Group checking in. Shout out to everybody, man, that's over there. Millie Up Radio says he's heard three so far that could do huge numbers. I've heard more than three, but I'm definitely, you know, I, I, I feel like, yeah, like that one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hell, yeah, I don't know. Um, oh, my Instagram Live crew. I call, everybody, that, I call that one my granny, man. Yeah, that, that that one is crazy. That one is crazy. Uh, my Instagram live crew, uh, Instagram live cuts off every hour. So in about a couple of seconds, it's going to shut off. I'll restart another Instagram live. So if you want to keep rocking with us over here, it was 7 a.m. on Instagram live. As soon as it was shuts off, I'll start another one. I will jump into the, uh, to the rest of the album real quick. So I'm not going anywhere. Just go back out and come back in and then find the next live feed and we'll keep rocking. Uh, my uh, my my Facebook live crew, you know, you guys are good. Facebook lets us lets us ride out for four hours over here. So big up to everybody that's checking in. But a lot of again, a lot of positive feedback, bro, on that man. Uh, that one right there, that one is dope as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like that one was, that one was, I think maybe, yeah. If we talking radio, maybe that one. But I still say 11, 11 first, just to just to just 
just to get the party started just to you know what i'm saying just to kick the door yeah. in but then then that one right there too i can understand why you know what i'm saying you, you're talking about that as a single as well that one is really powerful too i like it you know what i'm saying so uh yeah the, the project just keeps better it gets getting better and better man you feel me um i gotta pay a couple yeah, bills real quick sure. i gotta pay a couple bills real quick hold on a second uh, you guys, make sure you rock with these uh, advertisers that we're rocking with over here at K100 Radio. Uh, make sure you look them up and uh, support them. A lot of these uh, entities support independent artists. All right. So you guys make sure you rock with them. Uh, let me run a couple of these ads real quick and we'll come right back and we'll finish this up with 7 a.m. Uh, the project premiere review of Sober. All right. Pause for a cause. Oh, if you want to get an ad on K100 Radio, go to the same place. If you want to get a project premiere on K100 Radio, Go to the same place, k1radio.com, the ads and promo page. All right? Real rap promo. promo. Artists, are you struggling with getting people to listen to your music? Do you need a bigger fan base? Real Rap Promo is here to help you. Log on to www.realrappromo.com today to see how they can help you with all your promo and marketing needs. Real Rap Promo. Promo. Let go! This is a shout out to all rappers, R&B singers, entertainers, BeatsbySan.com. If you're looking for that exclusive production like you hearing in the background, go to BeatsbySan.com. When you need that industry sound for a reasonable price, go to BeatsbySan.com. Hey, yo, Sand, let's let them know. Turn, 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 turn up, turn up. BeatsbySan.com. B-E-A-T-S-B-Y-C-E-D. MidwestMixtapes.com, the number one website for Midwest rap. MidwestMixtapes.com, they promote and market albums, mixtapes, singles, and videos. MidwestMixtapes.com, they can get you on DJ conference calls, blogs, and email blasts. MidwestMixtapes.com, they work with several magazines, college radio campaigns, and street teams in multiple cities. Do you want to be officially bossed up? Submit your info to BTMB Magazine PR at gmail.com. Get featured in the fastest growing lifestyle magazine catering to the underground and the well-known. BTMB always delivers the latest entertainment news. Catch up on your favorite entertainer, fashion designer, singer, rapper, actor, or community hero. Bosses That Meet Bosses wants to shed positive light on your story. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at BTMB Magazine. To purchase your copy, visit madcloud.com forward slash browse forward slash BTMB Magazine. Bosses That Meet Bosses is where your story lives. Nominated us and you voted. And thanks to you, our loyal listeners, we are the Southern Entertainment Awards Radio Station of the Year 2016. Yeah, you know what it is K100 Radio. And we're back. This is our project premiere with you with 7 a.m. All right, 7 a.m. And the name of this project is called Sober. This is a track by track breakdown of an entire project by an artist, an up and coming artist. Uh, again, if you want more information about doing one of these visit our website k1radio.com and go to the ads and promo page all right we are on track number eight all right hell of a love 7 a.m is in the building and he's breaking everything down and telling us what's going on where his mind was at where his space was at he had some issues uh you know what i'm saying he got right back you know what i'm saying had to cut you know, uh you know had to get his mind right you know well, let's see where we're at where his space is at right now with hell of a love tell us about this one bro <laughs> It's just another situation. I mean, this is a just a relationship where you know, I mean, things aren't too too bad, you know. But um, it's kind of just like it's it's a little bit of toxins in it, you know what I'm saying? But um, it's just it's just you like it, you know what I'm saying? You know how you kind of got that crazy chick, man. But you just you just love her crazy ass. So yeah, that's, <laughs> this is this is about that, man. <laughs> <laughs> that crazy <laughs> chick. You both just know you. Yeah, man. You both just know you fucked up, but you know, like. Y'all fucked up together, so it's all right. You know what I'm saying? So, 
right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get into it. All right. This is track number eight, Hell of a Love, off the album Sober by 7 a.m. Project premiere review right here on Cable 100 Radio. <laughs> The project premiere review for 7 a.m. That was just the uh, eighth track on the uh, on the album Sober. Uh, that was a hell of a love, and this is a fucking hell of an album, bro. Real shit. Uh, some people chiming in over here again on Instagram Live. Someone asked who's singing. That's 7 a.m. This is the project premiere review over here with 7 a.m. We're doing a track by track breakdown of his new album Sober. All right. Uh, Jasly has your back 100 over here on Instagram Live, bro. Everybody ask a question, she got the answer. She on deck. <laughs> she is a she is a team player. She is on deck. All right, shout out to uh, my homie Kevin Lamar mm-hmm. checking in over here on, on Instagram. I mean on Facebook Live. Facebook Live is checking in. You guys rock with us on Facebook Live. If you want to find out uh, how you can watch our Facebook Lives, just what the Facebook Live look like, like our Facebook page over there. Just go and type in K100 Radio, and you'll be able to find links to all of them. Uh, that one right there again, man, dope. I like that. I really think you really you was you was strumming that guitar on that one. That acoustic on that one was in pocket right there. I like that one. Well, I appreciate it, man. Just uh, that's actually one album I plan on playing live. You know, um, when, uh, when it comes to performances, so you know, it's a uh, simple. You know, Neil Neil G. I is actually the one who uh, 
made the rest. So um, that's a, one of my homies from the UK, man. So you know, <laughs> but that's like I think that's the one that they're, they're thinking about making the single, man, because the numbers on that one is just doing really good, man. So okay, it's, it's passing everybody else. Really, that might be one. That might be one. Wow, really? Yeah. But but you know I what though? Know. You know what though? When you said live performance, now definitely you could definitely kill because you could even you could just 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 on the stage when it first comes on and you just up there you killing that guitar live by yourself on stage with just the the the, uh, the solo flood light on you man you know what i'm saying the spotlight on you you know what i mean sitting in the chair just setting the mood yeah i could i could definitely see why uh you said that was that one was killing in the numbers uh what metric are you using are you using like your downloads or your spotify streams or which one um i mean all of them i mean definitely on top on spotify um it's just a uh, I think Spotify has the most numbers out of everything. I think, it's, I mean, you know, everyone streams on Spotify these days, so more than anything else. Um, but yeah, it's topping on Spotify, it's topping on iTunes, so that's just the one that's moving fastest. So, like I said, we gotta let the people pick. That's the one they're picking. All right, so oh. we gotta lose more time. So, we'll, so I mean, it, ain't, it hasn't even been out for a month yet. So, right, we'll see. Which is a, which is a blink in we you know when you're when you're an indie. You know, are you? Let me ask you a question. Your current status. Uh, are you an are you a true indie artist or are you like slick signed to a major and they don't want to tell nobody like they've been doing lately? <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Nah, man, nah. Shout out, shout out to my family too, man. Digital Mass, man. We're we indie, man. We're doing it on our own, man. Doing it, doing all the groundwork, you know. Just just doing it the, the way that it lasts longer, you know. So we work for longevity. You know yeah. What I'm so we everything everything's in house, you know. So um, if it wasn't for them, though, I, I I wouldn't be anywhere. So yeah. Well, uh, you, digital master definitely different. Man, I call them my pops, man. Just my right. little dad and big brothers. So. Big big ups to them for recognizing yeah. star talent because uh you got it, bro. This music that you creating is actually uh competing, you know. I've heard I heard shit that made it to the final I've heard shit that made it to the second round of the Grammy. I'm a Grammy voter myself, and I heard shit that made it in the second round that is not fucking with this project. You know, so uh I fully I fully expect that next year you should be in the fray. I, I fully uh, plan on telling my cohorts about you. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Uh, and within my network. You know what I'm saying? Because this is this is you 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 jokingly kind of sort of not really jokingly earlier said that that's my Grammy song, and I'm sitting here thinking to myself like I'd fucking vote for it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? As <laughs> as, as a voting member of the, of the Recording Academy, I would vote for it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that because you're. I'm not saying it because I don't even I don't even have to say that you know what I'm saying I'm saying it because the, the music is really that good right now I'm, I'm kind of like I, that's why I had to ask you that question because you know lately people have been signing the deals and then the label tell them don't sign it because don't tell people that you're signed because people want to believe in the indie so they 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 they, they tend to want to support the indie the quote unquote indie when they're not an indie when they really do have a budget because the music everything about it is sounding uh, great the mixing the mastering everything the imagery everything is 100 so you know. You've got a real team that really believes in you enough to really invest some serious money into your craft, man, because everything is sounding top notch right now. So, I mean, you guys are going to be like, uh, you guys are going to rob the label like Russ just did. How he came in there and stuck Columbia up real quick for all that money because <laughs> because he already had yeah. the momentum. There was no talking. There was nothing to negotiate. I can I can literally see, you know what I'm saying, probably before 2017 is out, man, you really going in there sticking up one of those, those labels like, yo, give it up, bro, because you really don't. Had that you have all the leverage right now, you know what I'm saying? All the all we gotta do is get these yeah. records, get these records popping on FM some kind of way, uh, you know what I'm saying? But they'll definitely get rocking over here at K One's radio to get the spin count up. But yeah, I think I think the project is really dope, man. You got some jams on here, so I'm just giving you some real honest, Appreciate honest, it, honest props. Is you know, program director at K One's radio, uh, K One's radio, uh, pasta, well, pasta and jazz track number nine, pasta and jazz. Tell me about it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's, a, that's the funnest record on there, man. Every time somebody brings that record up, I just laugh because uh, actually, there was, this is me and uh, one of my uh, one of my team members, man, my, my manager. He, uh, we were the only ones that wanted that song, man. So you know, like everybody else, you know, like follow the people. Just like, nah, I don't know if we can. I don't know if that's gonna make the cut, man. And, you know, we just fought for it. And um, I, underneath a uh, hell of a love, that's the, that's the one that's moving up as fast too. So that's that's one of my personal favorites, man. I love performing that song. All right, pasta and jazz. Um, what, I mean, is the about? Title, what is the title it about? Of it, man. It's, pasta, man. it's uh, <laughs> it's just it's kind of fun, actually, man. It's just, this one's just like a happier space of love, man. You know? Okay. Um, it's, it's yeah, it's just happy. It's just a happier space of love, though. You know. All right. Um, talking about just I mean, yeah, just talking about a, a good experience I had. 
All right, a Pretty good experience. Much. Sounds like we're gonna. <laughs> You, you, you're coming uh, you coming full circle right now. You're good right now. You're straight. You know what I'm saying? You're over it. You know what yeah, I mean? Sure. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back to 7 a.m. right now. All right. Pasta and jazz. Pasta. You know what? Date night. This is date night music. This, this, whole, this whole fucking album is just date music. Everything about it. You, you probably could score at the end of the night, too. I think you should probably just go ahead and throw this on. Throw this in the car while y'all riding around. You may want to go ahead and download this in case y'all hit a spot where you ain't really got no good Wi-Fi. Just go ahead and download the album, bro. Don't worry about it. Just download the whole album so you can have it on your phone or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You can plug the aux cord in so you can't lose. You don't want to drop the ball right mid-play. Pasta and jazz. <laughs> 7 a.m. Sober. <laughs> so what else? You said you wanted to chill. Got wine. Food. <laughs> Niggas do that I just don't do How do you think that made me feel? Huh? Being compared to something that could never ever be this real Stop asking me how I got this way, girl I was, born I was born trail I won't change no matter what Even with all the males I guarantee I'll say this way Until Jay give me one of them pills yeah. Then I'm long gone Such a sad song yeah. But I bet you sing along Truth ain't never been your forte Love ain't never been our star rate you tell it for me, uh, shoot a burst. Yeah. You're the best lie, lie, lie. You're the best lie, lie, lie. You're the best lie. Radio, hip hop, and RMB. Bruh, seriously, bruh. The music, the hit, that the yeah. fire just coming, bruh. The fry. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm thinking maybe this is gonna be the one where I'm like, mm, I don't know. Because you like, I this was the one we were just playing around, and everybody was like, nah. Who the fuck in the camp said don't put that on the album? And, and, and furthermore, <laughs> what the fuck else do you got? That 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 that's better. That that's sitting in the pocket. That, that, that they're like willing to cut these kind of records out off the album. Like, I don't even know how y'all even pick the track list for this shit, let alone a single. <laughs> hey man, I made a, made a hundred and fifty. Guy, shout out to uh, Simone the Baddest checking in on Instagram Live. What's up, um, <laughs> Millie Up Radio? Millie Up Radio was really ro- rocking with it. They said, man, they've been chilling, kicking, folding clothes, listening to this shit the whole time. Just chopping it up, you know what I'm saying? Just kicking, right. you know what I'm saying? Uh, 
Uh, Danny Sticks checking in over here on Facebook Live. Big ups to everybody checking in. Again, 347-934-0966. Y'all could call in a holler at 7, though. I mean, I keep telling y'all the phone lines is open, y'all. I, I like the feedback, but go, somebody hit the phone lines up and, yo, really say it. Like, say, hey, I'm fucking with it because I am. I think this is a great record, bro. Um, you know, sometimes people just say shit to be saying it, but I don't. And if anybody, if you knew me beyond this point, you would know that's just not what I do. I don't say shit just to be saying it. I don't tell people I like music that I don't like. I, I'm actually known for absolutely the exact opposite. Do you know what I'm saying? People like me because they know I, they can get the truth out of me when it comes to music. And um, this is a stellar project, bro. Stellar project. I mean, this is this is this Thank is you, Grammy worthy Anderson Pack type shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I said it. I fucking Thank said you. it. I said it. I compared him to Anderson Pack because literally, <laughs> that's I have nobody else to fucking throw out there right now that's fucking with this project. I've heard them all. You know what I'm saying? I heard them all. This is what I do. So, I mean, I don't know what the fuck y'all want me to tell you. I'm not saying it because it's on K1's radio. Because there's been other people on K1's radio, and y'all ain't heard me say that shit. Have you? No, you haven't. All right. Uh, that was track nine, Pasta and Jazz. Track number 10. We almost, we winding it down. We got four more. Withdrawal. Tell us about Withdrawal, bro. Um, all right, so Withdrawal, that's another interlude. I don't think we named it as interlude. But, um, yeah, it, it's that's a... Um, <laughs> kind of just circling back around now, so I'm, I'm back to the losses. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So they kind of, I kind of fell. Um, but this one's like completely my fault. You know what I'm saying? There wasn't no problem. This was just like me not being ready. And um, kind of just like you know, I lost it. Now I'm now I'm missing it. So that's what withdrawal means. All right, all right. She left me because I wasn't ready. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> are we ever ready, sober? I mean, at uh, 7 a.m. Are we ever really ready, fellas? Let's just be real. Are we? Are, are you ready? I don't know. Maybe. Did you, did you ever felt like you were totally ready for a relationship, bro? Honestly, uh, honestly, have you ever? How I don't want to. I don't want to. Some people. I don't know if you want to tell your real age, or whatever. Some people have their age and then their industry age, whatever. The point is, you know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, 20, I'm 24. Okay, 24. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So 24. Yeah. Man, 24. Okay, 24. I wasn't trying to hear none of that. I was. I was a male whore. I'm gonna be honest with you, people. I, I can't lie. I was bad. It was bad. It was a bad time in my life. Well, it was fun, but looking back, reflecting, I'm just glad I got out of there. I got out of there, you know what I'm saying, with only two kids. You know what I'm saying? Yes. <laughs> I made it. I think that was an accomplishment, all things considered. Word. Well, I ain't trying to get it. I ain't trying to get it. No. All my babies is me. Right, right. Oh, yeah, dude, yeah, 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 chill. But withdrawal, all right? He knows he fucked up. He's really need to admit it. He's going through withdrawal. Uh, 7 a.m., the album Sober. This is our project premiere review over here at k one Radio. Again, this is a track-by-track -track breakdown of an entire project, a one-on-one -on -one conversation with the artist while we do it live on k one Radio. For more information about that, visit our website, k one radiocom and go to the ads and promo page. We're on track number 10, Withdraw. Check it out. Are you with me? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I just don't know. This is love, but I was not I told myself that I wasn't so full. I told myself you weren't so full. Damn, look at me lying. In a day that goes by, with you ain't on my mind.
to K100 Radio, Hip Hop and R&B. Nice little interlude right there. That was track number 10. That was Withdrawal. Right now, we're doing our live uh, project premiere review with uh, so- 7 a.m. Uh, the name of this project is called Sober. All right, you guys make sure you go and check it out. I mean, if you've been riding with us, man, he's got some great music on this album, man. Make sure you go ahead and support the artist. Uh, it's on Spotify, Tidal, Amazon, iTunes, all that. So you can go ahead and stream it right now if you already got those and you're rocking with them. Go over there and check it out if you really want to. But, but download the album. Can they get physical copies, Seven? Are physical copies available? Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, man, if you buy it from Amazon, it's physical copies. All right, so physical copies are also available. Uh, you know, uh, ATL native born uh, from here, uh, somehow ended up a Pats fan, but we won't talk about that. We're moving on past that uh, that trauma. But when it comes down to the music, oh, when it comes down to the, I'm not letting you live that down, bro. It's Super Bowl weekend. I can't. Uh, <laughs> I see, I see. Uh, but, um, uh, yeah, but but when it comes to the music, man, dude is uh, hella talented, and this is a really great project. He's actually an indie artist, which from the music, hey, I don't know. He says he, he says he don't have a deal lurking in the background nowhere that we don't know about on the cool. But, uh, you know, it definitely sounds like he does, you know what I'm saying? But I'm pretty sure he will. I'm pretty sure he'll go places. Really talented, man. Uh, let's jump into uh, these last couple of tracks real quick. Uh, the time is running out on us. We got track number 11. Sad songs. Tell us about this one, homie. Um, <clears throat> so this is a, like, this is trying to go back again. It's like uh, after the situation and not being ready, you know, um, trying to work it out. But then you kind of just realizing that, you know, it's dead. So, you know, it's, it's, it'll be a waste of time pretty much. Uh, so y'all, you, you just, just it's officially over at this point. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah pretty much, you know. <laughs> You know, you can't, when you finally grow up, grow old enough, you know, to realize that something just ain't worth fighting for. I guess mm-hmm. not. I guess not. Let's check it out. Sad songs. <laughs> Track number 11. Sober by 7 a.m. <laughs> this is K1's radio. I just needed to ask you something, but clearly, I got my answer. Thank you. Okay, bye. Sorry. I'm not sure what bothered you. I see right through you I hate to say that I knew you Oh my, you changed Do say running through you Never used to drink, now you wasted more than a sore I wonder who you fuck these days I've been focused on getting paid Almost forgot who you are Just playing, but I blocked you out Cause that's how I cope with losing a lot And you should know me by now I know, I know we haven't talked in a while, to but I've been the same since you left. Oh, yeah. Now you're here trying to move forward, but I gotta watch my stuff. Cause I ain't break the music. Still playing. I ain't break the music. Still playing. It knows your favorite song. See those your favorite songs, we barely get along I always do so wrong, let you tell it Your mama call my phone, she said you back at home She don't know I'm gone, I let you tell her We get problems out the blue, you complain about everything I do I guess I wasn't made for you You always say that you do, but then you always end up coming through I'm about to lose my faith I hear break of music Still playing I hear break of music Still playing And knows your favorite song 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 And knows your favorite song 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 Keep on playing. I know, I know why you keep on playing.
R&B. Loaded with hits. Loaded with hits right now. This is our live project premiere review of Sober by 7 a.m. Again, I'm your host, Blizzard. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in to the show. Welcome to K100 Radio. Again, this is a track-by-track breakdown of an entire project by an up-and-coming artist. And um, I'm really glad that these people contacted me right here, uh, his camp and his crew, and sent me this project for review, man, because honestly, man, I'm just really glad to be able to share this with the people because this this project needs to be heard, all right? Straight up. You know what I mean? That's, he got a really, really well-put-together album. Um, really dope. That was um, track number 11. That was Sad Songs. We got two more left, all right? Uh, let me see. Track number 12, which is famous. Tell us about this one, Seven. Um, this is that going back, you know, to um, running to an ex, you know, the one that I, uh, that was in the life with me. You know what I'm saying, um, just kind of like reconnecting and stuff, but uh, still, she's she's more soaked into it, you know, than ever now. I'm, this is me in college, so you know, I kind of stepped away from the music scene for a bit to go to school. And um, this is just, you know, like giving her some advice, most, you know, talking about the life and everything, just, you know, telling her why I stepped away, and, you know, why what she needs to do to be careful. Okay, why you stepped away from the industry for a while, which which you actually did in real life, right, basically? Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, it's just a bad experience, man, you know? Like, I, I've been doing music for a minute, man, so I just, I just had a bad, bad experience, you know, didn't have the best team, you know, back in the day, man. It's just, you know, a lot of false hope. Know, some some grimy stuff happened, but, you know. I'm here now though, so I feel like it had to happen. But All right. at that point, I felt like I needed to get an education. So All right. <laughs> well, I got to school. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> that's important. Millie Up Radio has a <laughs> Millie Up Radio has a question. Uh, uh, did you have to pay for these tracks, or was it written uh, in a way uh, which a royalty would be paid? But I mean, uh, with the with these producers, these are obviously definitely uh, big time industry, you know, major industry level tracks. Uh, how did y'all work out everything with the producers being an independent artist on an indie label? Uh, <laughs> how did y'all do that? He wants to know. Um, uh, well, everything's exclusive, um, pretty much. And a lot of the songs, uh, more than half the song, I think maybe three songs on there are weren't are originally made, you know, like from scratch with uh, producers that are, you know, that are on the team or uh, that work close with the team. So, uh, yeah, man, a lot of stuff, we just sat there in the studio and just played it. A big up to, and how did you how did you connect with the uh, the producers, the ones in the UK? Was that a, a meeting over the internet? Was that in person? How did you connect with the ones? Because they've they've been blessing you with some bangers. When every time you say they produced it, I'm like Jesus. What's their name again? Where they at? Yeah. You know what I'm saying <laughs> for real. Uh, God, <laughs> God, serious man, and uh, Neil G. Eyes man. Um, they uh, I met guy. Um, I ran into him at Mean Street uh, Studios. Then I was uh, meeting with Atlantic A and R just to, uh, to kind of chop it up with him. Um, so I was supposed to be writing for some people, but uh, and it just turned into, you know, getting him on the team, you know, and working on my own project. So, yeah, but I, I met him over there. Seven. Seven, you said uh, you was down to meet with an, Atl- an Atlantic A&R. So two months from now, when this shit's yeah. all over the radio, it ain't going to be like, oh, he just inked a deal with Atlantic. Uh, yeah. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man! Don't let don't let me find out you was slick signed like Logic like Logic was signed for right. forever before he actually told people he was signed because <laughs> they, they wanted nah, him to lose his indie feel. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, I'm, I, nah, I'm just I'm digging, I'm digging it, man. No, nah. right now. all right. No, nah, no, nah, I, I, but I, I, I mean, it won't be long, bro. Not with this music. Nah, you know what I'm saying? I mean, unless and, and uh, not with the team you got because obviously they're putting you in a position to win. So you got two. Uh, two of the hurdles down. You've got the great music and you've got a team. So you've got like, and you've got the talent, you know, you've got the grind. I mean, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I can't, you know, of course, you know, the industry is grimy and we're finna get ready to play famous and hear about your uh, rendition of that. But honestly, uh, with a project like this, you know what I'm saying? It gets, it's, it should be, I say a year tops. And then I'm gonna try and come back and get you to interview and you're gonna be like, nah, son, nah, fam. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> about, a, about a year from Never now. that, man. I'll come I'm back. like, nah, fam. Nah, nah, <laughs> nah. I'll you know what I'm saying? Back. You're going to be on the Grammys you know, and shit. You know, you know, you know, <laughs> oh, this shit is being recorded. I am. I'm going to fucking troll your ass on yeah. the internet. Like, bro, remember when you said this shit, though? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Can we get that now? You know what I mean? All right. <laughs> All right. Track number 11. Famous. Off the album Sober by 7 a.m. This is the project premiere review right here on K100 Radio. Again, if you're asking about how you can get down with one of these, visit our website, k 1 radiocom and go to the ads and promo page. Let's get it. 
Amos. People know me, can't think too many motherfuckers adoring. Can't be boring, this shit is annoying. You love the lights and the cameras, I swear. You love the long nights with the dances, I swear. But you gon' hate the pics when you didn't pose. And how you look after the shot got you exposed. It ain't the way they said it was. You gotta go numb after the bus. That's why all my niggas do drugs, I swear. Cause we can and we can and we can Cause we can and we can and we can We can't take it like they told us we could Twist all bad but they said it was good Damn fools We can't take it like they said we could Cause it's all bad even though they said it was good They said it was good Damn fools Rumors are they got on you They gon' follow just to spy on you You're such a trending topic Watch em. Watch em. Mm. Rumors are they got on you They gon' follow just to spy on you You're such a trending topic Watch em. Watch em. Make you famous, yeah They gon', they gon', they gon' Make you famous, yeah They gon', they gon', they gon' Just like me Make you famous just like me And it'll all be so simple When you're famous just like me When you're famous just like me You know how we get down The biggest hits right here okay, Let's get it, boy <laughs> This is K100 Radio with the hottest hip hop and R&B mixes. And we're back. We almost getting ready to ride up out of this thing and ride into the sunset. We chilling with 7 a.m. and we're breaking down the entire track. Sober, his brand new release available on Spotify, Tidal, Amazon, iTunes, all that good stuff. Make sure you check it out. We've been riding out with it for the past hour and 40 minutes. And that shit has been banging. I haven't heard like one bad track, and I'm not again. I'm not just saying that uh, because he did he, because he's doing his project premiere with us. Like I'm really saying that because that shit is really <laughs> fucking good music. I'm still I'm still just gonna take him at face value that he has no no major label push behind him. However, comma if I find out that he did, I'm gonna be like I knew that shit, son. I knew that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, right now, Project yeah. Premier Review right here with Cable 100 Radio with, so, uh, with uh, 7 a.m. We got, we're down to the last track, but before we uh, do this last one, man, you know what I'm saying, before we, before we run this last track off the album, um, just tell people overall what, 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 I know you, you've got the, the project done, but what's the, the, the master marketing plan that you and your team have to actually get this out to the masses beyond doing stuff like this? You know, we've helped give you some exposure here on this platform, but we, we are what we are. We're not, we're not effing radio. You know, we know we had a discussion yesterday with a, a industry person about how much money it takes to actually work a record on FM, which is a couple hundred thousand dollars. What are the plans besides just really grassroots growing out there, getting fan by fan? What are the uh, plans for you to actually get this project and get your career to the next level? Do you think the path is? Um, I mean, I'm a firm believer in uh, just the music moving itself. Um, so, you know, I, we're gonna t- we're gonna take the heart. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're gonna use every network we can and all the networks we have, which we it's a, we have a huge network. You know, so um, just using that, putting it in the hands of people, man, and just you know. People want good music, you know what I'm saying? So that's it's. I feel like it's a that's the advantage right there, you know. At least from what I've seen so far. So I'm um, just attacking every uh, avenue we can, social media, you know, with the local shows, local radio, you know. Uh, when it comes to you know just small tours, you know, just whatever, whatever we can do to um, to just get it out there, you know, within our means. So um, you know, that's that's pretty much it, man. So a right. lot of groundwork, a lot of a lot of baby steps before the big steps. You know, right. So. Where, where, where do you have any shows coming up uh, locally in Atlanta or beyond? Um, as of right now, there's some things on the table, but uh, nothing's definite. Um, but uh, there's a couple of big shows uh, that we're talking about. But like I said, nothing's definite. So outside of you know, just uh, setting up, I was, I was setting up my own shows right now. You know, just uh, getting venues together and just putting up uh, showcases for myself and you know other artists. So uh, definitely be on the lookout for those in the city. Um, but um, outside of that, you know, just uh, picking them up as they come along, you know. Okay, so you're 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 actually putting up some showcases together yourself and putting other artists on the bill, which is uh, what a couple a couple other artists who've been successful have have been able to do, uh, which is always a good idea because you know what I'm saying you're controlling everything at that point, you know what I'm saying and you're controlling the stage. Uh, I definitely I know since I know you're in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying I definitely try to do my do our best, to, uh, pair you <clears throat> excuse me pair you up with some uh, opportunities. Oh, definitely, man. That's my love, man. We we need everything we can get, man. But like I said, man, I firmly I firmly believe that again, it's it's moving by itself, and you know, so um, and that's like uh, you know, good music does that, right? Slowly but surely. All right, last track, um, solo. Tell us about this one. Um, so this is uh this is this this is pretty much the finale. <laughs> so you know, this is a uh, last conversation with the ex. This is, uh, this is like. I finally just like, you know what, I don't need, I'm, 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 no relationships, I don't need nothing, you know, and this is, uh, I'm focusing on the music, so this is uh, coming from the uh, perspective of just, like, being focused, and, you know, my career is everything, but, you know, can I miss it, but, you know, it's time to, it's time to gear down and focus. All right, last focus. track, the last track of the album, man, 13 tracks, nice solid number, not too much, not too little, uh, banger, man, Millie Up Radio is really, uh, Rocking with the project, they say definitely worth supporting. Not one bad track. He supports it. Um, he definitely says it's a it's a project worth buying. He'll tell people about it. He has his own platform, MillieUp.com. Shout out to him. Uh, do you have Do you have uh, uh, any videos out for uh, any one of the records? <clears throat> uh, yeah, uh, there's a video out for um, Withdrawal Interlude. Um, we're definitely we're doing a lot of visuals uh, uh, coming up, so a lot about to be released, and we just finished a visual to. Uh, Another one on the, uh, the actually this was a SoundCloud record, but you know just for promo wise, uh, so my SoundCloud's called Frankie. Just got a problem, but um, yeah. As far as the album, we just have to go. I'm about to shoot prices and solo. So. You about to okay. that should be up in the next. Month. Well, I so, definitely yeah. want to check those out because we know we're we're starting our our uh, our music review. Uh, let me see, sober release party. Oh, you have the oh. Oh, it's oh, it's oh, it's the release party. I thought it was actually a video for uh, so it's at the sober release party. I thought you had an actual um, I thought you had an actual video for that. I was gonna actually try to run that on the uh, on the Facebook Live, but it's actually just a release party. Okay, all right. Well, I can't do that. Yeah, that's a video. Oh, okay. Say what now? YouTube. I got a video for withdrawal. It's on YouTube. Okay. 
we definitely want to get with you about our music about our video review segment that we got coming up our next week that's review. launching next week so we definitely want to gra- grab that one you know what i'm saying and, uh i know the record is dope i like withdrawal it's a dope record so i want to check that visual out and we can do that also hopefully you can be a part of that you know what i mean for real yeah, yeah all right let's do it do it last all track right. man track 13 this is solo all right the album is called sober the artist is 7 a.m make sure you go check it and find it and support the artist all right let's go <laughs> It's already turned into nothing but a fashion statement. Please don't make this about you. I don't want to talk about you. Can I get some time to be in my feelings? Is that too much to ask? Lately we've been walking on ceilings. I'm just waiting on the crash. I'm just waiting on So we can be normal again. Go out with friends. Eat out of cans cause we save it for rent. We have been for sins. I like I've been. Going to church ever since I was in. Lord, why? Did you give me everything that I wanted and more? Never thought I'd be living my life through a passport. I just miss new ports and those red cups. In those red cups, all we used to feel them. All we used to feel them. Me and you, me and you. In those red cups, all we used to feel them. All we used to feel them. always starts this way and then it ends that way so like, how about this let's just end it you think you think you ready for that all right fuck it Shout out to the homie 7 a.m. with a stellar project. This has been a project premiere review of uh, Sober, the new uh, project by uh, 7 a.m., man. Uh, let's Before we go, we got to make sure we give out all content information and anything you guys uh, want to let the audience know that's listening to k One's radio right now. Go ahead, 7. You got the floor. All right, man. Well, y'all can find everything and keep stay updated on all shows, all videos, everything um, on at seven am digital dot com. Uh, the Instagram is the actual seven am. Uh, Facebook seven am digital man. So, um, and again, the album's out, man. So you know, go go stream it, man. Go enjoy it. Um, so on Apple Music, iTunes, Title, Spotify, Amazon. So, and I, I I love the support, man. I love the love. So thank y'all, man. Absolutely, man. I think it's a uh, again. I think it's a dope project. You know what I'm saying. I really feel like uh, you know, um, the project itself is just you know, man. It, it I, 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 it's really hard for me to again just reiterate the fact that the, this is an independent artist that's able to create this kind of a project and it's kind of a really, really, really dope music. You know what I'm saying. Uh, says a lot about dedication, says a lot about talent, says a lot about his team. Uh, so I really just hope that people that are listening to this project uh, premiere review uh, actually go out and actually support it, you know, at the end of the day. I hope you guys go out and support this project um, because I really feel like it, it really is worth, like, buying, worth spending your money on, you know what I'm saying? 
and you know, or, or if you stream or whatever, it's really worth adding to your playlist. So just be supportive, man. You know, when we when we find gems over here at K100 Radio, when we find the gems, you know what I mean? When we when we find those, we want you guys to just go out and really just do what you can to support these artists, man, because this this grind is real. And like he said before, he said like he went through some stuff before and he had to fall back. You know what I'm saying? He had to fall back and then he, you know, he, you know, and, and come back, you know, and to be able to come back like this, it says a lot about his tenacity, man. So, you know, I know people are talking about how many babies Beyonce is about to have right now, but you know what I'm saying? Uh 7 a.m. is is right here in your face, and you know, he's reachable and you know, he's taking his time to uh be on our platform and we appreciate it. Uh, we want to make sure that we get the good music that deserves to be heard out, out. And that's one of our core missions here at K1's Radio. And I can honestly say that this project premiere review actually did that. We accomplished one of our goals, our core goal. You know what I mean? Big ups to you, bro. I wish you much success. Um, I don't know how I haven't seen you yet out here in these ATL streets grinding, but I'm now that I know you and know you, I'm pretty sure when I see you now, I'm going to be like, oh, well, you know. Uh, all of a sudden, that's just how it'll be happening. But I'm pretty sure I see you out here in these streets grinding, man. So good luck to you, man. Um, again, everybody, man, make sure you, make sure you guys, uh, yo, make sure you guys, <laughs> make sure you guys get the uh, album. I'm gonna see if I can. I'm, I'm gonna see uh for my for my Facebook Live people. I'm gonna see if I can um. Real quick, I'm going to play that video for uh, 7 a.m., everybody. So if you're on Facebook Live, I actually was uh, I was able to get it. Uh, let me see. I was able to get it 7 a.m. So for everybody that's on Facebook Live, I'm going to actually play the video for withdrawal. So you guys are in for a treat. Sorry if you're not on my Facebook Live, but you should follow our uh, website. Uh, follow, our, uh, follow our page on Facebook, and you'll be able to get to it. All right? Um, but if you can, if you're on Facebook Live right now, I'm actually going to load up the video. Uh, I'm kind of fumbling right here a little real quick because I'm kind of doing it while I'm live. Where normally I would have this already loaded. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I got it loaded up. And we're going to let you guys on Facebook Live that's been rocking with us because it's been a couple of you guys. Uh, we're going to let you guys uh, treat yourselves to this video right here on Facebook Live as we get ready to roll out. So make sure you go ahead. Uh, find the uh, artist music on Spotify. And find it on title or whatever. Download it, stream it, and uh, we're gonna let 7 a.m. roll out, man. Big ups to his uh, management team and his label for booking us, uh, booking this project premiere review. Shout out to everybody who checked us out over here on Instagram Live and everybody who checked us out over here on Facebook Live. All right, seven man, we get ready to roll out, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this video roll over here on uh, Facebook Live. And uh, I've never seen it, so I'm gonna actually sit back, kick back, and watch it myself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you feel me? All right. Um, DJ I Am is coming up next in five minutes on K100 Radio, the Blend King. So stand by. If you guys don't have access to our Facebook Live feed right now and you can't see this video, still hang around on the um, on the, on the broadcast and check out DJ I Am, all right? Again, peace everybody on Facebook Live. I mean, Instagram Live right now. Facebook Live, you guys hold tight for this video. 7 a.m., man. Dope fucking project, bro. Hey. All right, man. We'll catch up with you later, all right? All right. Most definitely. All right, man. Stand by. Thank you for the time. All right. Uh, so we out, man. That was another one. That was a pretty great, uh, pretty dope, uh, pretty dope uh, project premiere cast. If you want more information about how you can do that yourself, again, go to our website, k100radio.com. Go to the ads and promo page and find out if you have a project coming up and you want to do a breakdown, uh, a track by track breakdown, and do a project premiere cast. Uh, all the information to book one of those over there on the website. All right. So we out. <laughs> DJ I am is coming up next on the broadcast. The Blink Team. You are now tuned to the K100 Radio Hip Hop and R&B. This is I like shot on the ground. I fuck shot. I fuck shot on the ground. I fuck shot. All right, Facebook folks, Facebook fam. Uh, I think I got this video loaded up. Let's watch it together. Let's check it out. Do you love me?
Mm. I guess it's love. But I will know. I told myself that I wasn't so Myself, you are so full. Damn, look at me lying in a day that goes by with you on my mind. In a day that goes by with I don't count the time till I see you again. Mm. Till I let you back in. All right, man, yo, yo, go, go out and support this artist, man. You feel me? Like, I don't know what else to tell you, man. You know what I'm saying? He's got the visuals. He's got everything. You know what I'm saying? Uh, go out and vote. I mean, go out and go out and um, support the artist, bro, at the end of the day. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Project Premiere review. Again, if you want to, um, if you want information about uh, uh, doing a Project Premiere review yourself, then just go over to the website, all right, k100radio.com. And um, go to the ads and promo page, and you can find out uh, how you can do your own right there. All right, so make sure you go ahead and do that. Uh, if you want to, you know, book one is uh, the prices and everything for uh, doing this is uh, is really um, fair. It really uh, doesn't cost that much. You know what I'm saying? So go. You know what I'm saying? If you got an album coming out and you want us to rock with you like this, you know what I'm saying? You see the competition, though. There's some dope music out here for these independent artists, man. Y'all rock with it, man. All right? Just know what you're getting yourself into and have some crack. You know what I'm saying? Have some really dope music. You know what I mean? All right. I'm out, man. We done.